Oh, hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use a Android device to quickly edit your images. So let's say I want to make an image a little bit better. I can just use the in-app editor right on my Android device. So I'm going to open up my images here. So I'm going to look here and I am going to make some changes to this photo I took. So I took a photo of the high school and it doesn't look great. But down here below where I can see the three lines right beside the share button, I can press that button. And again, the urge is to choose some of these automatic filters, but I want to get more advanced. To get more advanced in my editing software, I'm going to need to press this button again. And this comes up. I can play with the light, the color, and make my image pop. Now, I can drag the light back and forth, but I want to get more specific in my editing. So I'm going to click on this down arrow. And I can quickly change the exposure. I can make the contrast more intense or less intense. I can make the whites in my image whiter or the whites in my image darker. Uh, I can make my highlights brighter or darker. And I can play with my shadows. So it's a little bit dark. I'm going to make that. And I can make my blacks more intense. And if I wanted to add a vignette, I could do that. So if you look at the vignette, uh, I'm adding a bit of a vignette on the side. I'm not going to do that right now. I can play with color as well. So I can saturate all the colors. Again, if I do that, it makes it look pretty cartoony. Uh, I can take all the color out by sliding that over. I can change the warmth of my image. So I can make my image a little bit warmer to make it seem like a warm day. It's already a cold day, but I can make it even look colder. I, actually, I kind of like that. I can play with the tint a bit. So I'm going to make the tint a little bit more. Um, and again, I can make it even more blue with the deeper blue there. And finally, you can also make your image pop a bit more. Uh, again, that's probably a bit too much. It looks it makes it look a little bit cartoony. Uh, and I'm going to, I don't like how intense that is. Oh, that's because my saturation is really high. There we go. So I'm going to bring my saturation down a little bit. There we go. So quickly on my Android device, I can play with my light, my color, make my image pop. I can also crop it uh, to whatever dimensions I want. I can shrink this down. I can make it more square-like. Uh, just change the perception and the look of my image. I can tilt it around, put it on an angle and hit done when I'm happy with my cropping. You can also do fun things like mark images up. And again, uh, just another cropping tool as well here. Crop it in different ways. So again, using your Android device, you can quickly play with the lighting, change the color, and kind of enhance the image that you've taken in camera. Again, it's always better to take a better photo uh, when you're there, but say if you want to adjust the color, uh, make it a bit warmer, make it a bit cooler, bring out the shadows and highlights, the app that's in your camera on your cell phone is a pretty good way to start. And there you go.